Roquin Smith drives George's defense. Los Angeles, Roquin Smith thought he had left it all behind, the glitz and the glam, the sunshine and the traffic, the bright blue and gold. And yet the best linebacker in college football, the foundation of George's defense, will not be able to escape UCLA after all. Because on Monday the Bulldogs will play their biggest game of the season on the Bruins' home field. Smith is a 6'1", 225-pound junior from Montezuma, Georgia, population, 3,460, who in February 2015, was set to travel all the way across the country and play at UCLA. He announced his decision on national TV, to the shock of family and friends, many of whom had crowded into the gym at Macon County High dressed in red and black. But then he recanted, committing instead to Georgia, the departure of UCLA linebackers coach Jeff Ulbrich to the NFL played a role, and opting to completely forego signing a national letter of intent. At the time, Smith's decision to skip out on the holy grail of signing day sparked a rash of speculation that this might be the new norm in college football. It's not. Most players still pledge their allegiance to one school with their signature on a dotted line. As for Smith, well, it turned out just fine. More, Baker Mayfield steals the spotlight, even as he misses media appearances Woken Column, College Football's Sleeping Giant, Georgia, is wide awake more, confidence never wanes for Georgia freshman QB Jake Fromm I haven't thought about it like that, like wow, I could have been out here every day. Smith said Friday as Georgia preps to play Oklahoma in the Rose Bowl semifinal on January 1st. The years I've had at Georgia, I can't really envision myself anywhere else. I love Georgia and that's the only place I can see myself. It's easy to see why he feels that. Smith leads his team with 113 total tackles, including 10.5 tackles for loss. He'll probably be a first-round NFL pick in May. He sidestepped to question Friday about draft grades. He won the Butkus Award, presented annually to the top linebacker in college football. He's the first UGA player to earn the honor. He was named the SEC Defensive Player of the Year and a unanimous All-American, and was a finalist for both National Defensive Player of the Year awards. This, according to his teammates, is due mostly to two qualities, blazing speed and an outstanding football IQ. Georgia safety J.R. Reed said Smith studies so much film, he can often diagnose a play before the offense is even done calling it. Smith will often beat Reed to the ball partially because he's closer and faster but, more often than not Reed admits, because he knows what's going to happen before anyone else. Linebacker Lorenzo Carter joked that Smith reacts so quickly and gets ball carriers to the ground so fast. It doesn't give other guys a chance to learn anything. Carter's favorite Smith highlight this season was when he ran down Notre Dame's Brandon Wimbush from behind, taking the quarterback to the ground before he could pile up any yardage in Georgia's 2019 road win. Smith said he is always seeking knowledge about other teams' offensive tendencies, about different foods to eat, about cultures he wants to visit. While his teammates praised his productivity and natural athleticism Friday, Smith seemed more interested in talking about different trips he's taken around the world than talking about how he plans to contain Oklahoma quarterback and Heisman winner Baker Mayfield. Smith has been interested in travel since elementary school when, he said, we had this social studies book, and I used to always pull it out and look at places on the map and be like, I want to go there. I want to go there and I want to go there. He took his first trip out of the country at 15, with his aunt, to Mexico. He believes in using his time away from football wisely. You can't just limit yourself to, oh, I'm done with football, I'm just going to relax, he said. This was another way of Smith saying he does not lounge on the couch playing video games on his off days. He loves an adventure, and has found plenty of them out of the United States traveling to places such as Honduras and the Bahamas. Still on his to-do list, Spain, Africa and maybe somewhere like Australia, or New Zealand. But higher on his list would be a trip to Atlanta, home of the 2018 National Championship. It's a long way from UCLA's home field, and exactly where he wants to be.